be honest, it's the highlight of my month because we get a chance to talk to some of the leading content marketers in the country, expose them to really radical and interesting new ideas that are going to be happening over the next 12 months and beyond, you know, so that they can think about what to prioritise in their day-to-day -day work, you know, what is impacting content from a digital perspective uh, and how they can improve their content for their clients going forward. As content marketers, it's going to get harder. With more noise, more content being published, we have to get really, really good at understanding what's effective and what's not effective. And this is where measurement comes into play. Customer centricity is one of the big shifts we are seeing within our business landscape. And that comes from partly from social, partly from people being allowed to be much more vocal, enabled to be much more vocal. It comes from a, a, an understanding that in this world, competitive advantage, sustainable competitive advantage, comes from being customer obsessed. So you've got a stat here, 61% of CEOs in today's marketplace believe that they must exhibit customer obsession in order to be successful. Digital breakfasts are a good way for people to keep up with specific topics and emerging trends um, so we can offer the, the most cutting edge solutions for our, our clients in content marketing. And what we're starting to see now is that media organisations are, are increasingly using social as one channel to build more of a one-to-one -one relationship with their audiences. Um, so building more personal, more personalised messaging, um, that kind of continuous always-on marketing much more audience driven and also getting that, that two-way dialogue, that two-way relationship. I think that actually the content creation is going to become much more of a cornerstone uh, of the sponsorship agreements so you'll start to see those actually being put into the, the contracts that are there. Um, I think also sponsorship assets will start to get used in a much wider content marketing sense as well. So if you look at somebody like Waitrose, they have their own uh, Waitrose magazine, they have their own Waitrose iPad app, which gets fantastic traffic and, and converts well into the store. They've also got the sponsorship of the England cricket team. So I, I would expect at some point you're going to start to see that maybe some of the players are actually then going on and doing the cooking, so then they're actually starting to join the dots between the, the assets that they're sponsoring and the way that they're able to create content. It's just a great time to be in marketing because the whole market is learning a new discipline all together so there's a very steep part of the learning curve and we're all on it together nobody is that much further ahead of anybody else and for me that's really exciting